5 given the quadratic equation where r is a non-zero integer find the value of r such that 1 root is negative of the other root so we see here okay, 1 root is negative of the other root so for example if the root is a so negative of the other root so the root is a alpha and negative alpha so it wanted to find the value of r Okay, one more thing here to find root so we have x square minus sum of root x plus product of root is equal to 0 so in this case you see here when we put it here we have r x square plus r minus 1x plus 2r plus 3 so we see here to put it in this form here in front of x square must be 1 so we divide everything with r so here we have x square plus r minus 1 over rx and this one we have 2r plus 3 over r. So we see here the front one here is the sum of root and this one is product of root. So sum of root is equal to, so you see here the negative of the equation, this one is positive. So negative r minus 1 over r. So we see here. Since the root is alpha and negative alpha, so alpha plus negative alpha, we get 0. So in this case, here we get, so when we expand negative r times r, we get negative r. Negative times 1, we get 1 divided by r is equal to 0. We bring it here, so here we get negative r plus 1 is equal to 0, r is equal to 1. So find the value of r. So actually without doing the sum, the product of root, we already get the value of r which is equal to 1 here. P, one root is reciprocal of the other root. If this one is alpha, so reciprocal 1 over alpha. So if you do the sum of root is equal to, so we see here this one is the sum of root, right? This one is negative, so it's actually negative r minus 1 divided by r is equal to alpha plus 1 over alpha. So to add up the 1 with this one denom uh, fraction, we have to make the denominator equal. This one is alpha times alpha. So alpha times alpha, we get alpha square and this one here alpha square plus 1. So, which is equal to negative r minus 1 divided by r. So, actually, if you see here, the multiplication of this one is much simpler compared to when we do the uh, summation of this one. So, you see here, product of root is equal to, so this one is 2r plus 3 divided by r. And alpha times 1 over alpha, you get 1, so you can directly find r. So here 2r plus 3 divided by r is equal to 1. So this one multiply with 1. 2r plus 3 is equal to r. So we bring r at one side. r we bring here, we get 2r. This one is positive, right? It will become negative r. Here, so positive 3, we transfer it to the right. Positive will become negative. So r is equal to negative 3. So here we get r is equal to negative 3. See, one root is twice the other root. So, if one root is alpha, then the other root is 2 alpha. So, here, sum of root is equal to negative. So, this one is the sum of root. R minus 1 divided by R is equal to alpha plus 2 alpha. So, in this case, here we have, so we can just negative R divided by 3 alpha so if you see here in this equation we have two unknowns here so we cannot solve it we get r and a we must do product of root so here product of root is equal to 2r plus 3 divided by r so we know that product of root is alpha times 2 alpha so here we get 2r plus 3 divided by r is equal to 2 alpha square so here to solve this one you must do so either you want to do substitution or elimination so here i think it will be easier to do uh, substitution 
alpha is equal to so 3 we bring 3 down here so negative r minus 1 divided by 3 r this one is the same one just the 3 we bring here so we get alpha now we can substitute alpha inside here 2r plus 3 divided by r is equal to 2 alpha square alpha is negative r minus 1 divided by 3r square is equal to 2 so this one here negative r plus 1 negative r plus 1 divided by 3r square which is equal to 2 this one is 1 minus r divided by 3r square 2r plus 3 divided by r is equal to so here 2 1 square so we square 1 square we get 1 2 times negative r times 1 you get minus 2r r square we get r square divided by 3r square we get 3 square we get 9 r square we get 9 square so 2r over 3 divided by r is equal to so here 2 times 1 we get 2 2 times 1, we get 2. 2 times negative 2r, we get minus 4r. 2 times r square, we get plus 2r square divided by 9r square. So here there is two way. Ideal, you can cross, you can cross multiply, which is quite long because you have to multiply everything. Or you can just make the denominator equal so that you can just cancel out the denominator. So this one is 9r squared, this one is r. So if you multiply by 9r divided by 9r, so the denominator will be equal. So here we have 9r, 2r plus 3 divided by 9r squared is equal to 2 minus 4r plus 2r squared divided by 9r squared where we can cancel out this 2. 9r times 2r we get 18r square. 9r times 3 we get 27r and this one which is equal to 2 minus 4r plus 2r square. So we bring everything at one side. We bring everything to the left. So here we have 18r square. So 2r square when we bring to the left positive will become negative. Okay this one is done. And then we have 27r negative 4 r negative 4 r will become positive 4 r so 2 when we bring to the side it will become negative 2 which is equal to 0 so 18 minus 2 we get 16 r square this one is 27 plus 4 we get 31 r minus 2 is equal to 0 so just press menu for my calculator class fees i just press alpha a this one is polynomial so degree the the highest power is 2 so we have 16 31 and negative 2 so press equal this is 1 over 16 and negative 2 so negative 2 we know that this one is so r is equal to just now 1 over 16 1 over 16 and r is equal to negative 2. So it is negative 2, we know that this one is r plus 2. So r plus 2 is equal to 0, r is equal to negative 2. If this one is 16, down here we bring it up, 16r. And this one is positive 1, right? It will become negative 1. So we have two value of r which is 1 over 16 and r is equal to negative 2.